hi everyone today i am going to talk about the main part of the aircraft and how aeroplane fly okay let's go to the video and i'm using this one for explaining the parts of the aircraft so the main body of the aircraft this main body is called fuselage and main this side part is called wings there are two wings left side right side when you go to forward this this area the forward area is called nose nose section this is the nose and this area is called cockpit this area is called cockpit and we are calling flight deck also pilots are sitting inside the cockpit or you can say flight deck or controlling the aircraft inside the cockpit okay then when you see this one below the nose section there is a, there are wheels this is called nose wheel or you can say nose undercarriage this nose undercarriage can rotate some angles left and right by the pilot he can steering the nose wheel left and right and aircraft can move left and right on ground while taxiing the aircraft can turn with the support of nose wheel this is called nose wheel or nose undercarriage then you can see the windows are there all the windows are there okay then you can see the wings i told you this one using for carrying fuel storage fuel tanks inside the main wings okay this main wings forward area is called leading edge and the rear edge is called trailing edge trailing edge okay and then at the end of the wings are called wing tip and winglets there are winglets at the wing tip so winglet so then you can see engines attached to the wings this aircraft having four engines two in this side two in this side some aircrafts having two engines one in one side right side and one is left side some aircraft having only one engine that one possible attached to the nose or tail area or somewhere single engines okay some engines inside the body fight aircrafts single engine but inside the body okay now there are some parts attached to the wing moving parts and flaps attached to the rear inboard area flaps and outboard corner you can see ailerons this area is called ailerons this both side ailerons are there 
वन इज दिस साइड वन इज दिस साइड ओके एलरन्स दिस एलरन्स मूव अप एंड डाउन मूव अप एंड डाउन द पार्ट्स पायलट कैन ऑपरेट अप एंड डाउन बट दिस बोथ इज वर्किंग ऑपोजिट डिरेक्शन इफ दिस वन इज अप दिस साइड विल बी डाउन ओके सो दैट एलरेंस कंट्रोलिंग द एयरक्राफ्ट फ्रॉल मूवमेंट लाइक दिस पायलट कैन मूव द कंट्रोल कॉलम लाइक दिस ओके सो एयरक्राफ्ट विल मूव लाइक दिस रोटेटिंग अराउंड दिस एक्सिट longitudinal axis okay aircraft move movement is like this with the support of ailerons both side one is up one is down movement this side up this side will be down okay now the flaps the flaps can control by the pilot by increase the area of the wing the flaps will go down and increase the area of the wing so it can produce more lift when the area increase the lift increasing okay but this flaps is using when the aircraft is take off and landing only okay now i talk about this engines and there are one more engines it is called apu it is mostly at the tail section tail cone you can see the engines at the tail cone that engine is produce electricity and pneumatic for the air conditioning when the aircraft is on ground this apu aircraft power unit is producing electricity for the engine start up or aircraft on ground or in flight also can operate for emergency pro start up engines and then now you know now engines and there is a apu also ekra power unit and now there are two wheel set in the below the wings this is called main wheels main wheels left side one left side one set and right side one set this wheels also some aircraft single small engine small aircraft single wheel some aircraft two wheels one side and two wheel other side some aircraft four wheels one side and other side four wheels and some aircraft six wheels one side other side six wheels three three and some aircraft more 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 it is depend on the aircraft anyhow this one is called main wheels and main under carriage we can say main under carriage or main wheel now tail section we can talk about the tail section the horizontal part of the tail section is called horizontal stabilizer this part and this this part and this part is called horizontal stabilizer the horizontal stabilizer uh, the uh, the front edge is called leading edge 
on rear edge is called trailing edge. So elevator is attached to the trailing edge. It can move up and down, up and down. This side one elevator, this side one elevator. But this both together, working together as, as a one part. They're both going up and both going down. Pilot can control with his control column like this moment he can control the elevator up or down so if the elevator go up the air flow come and hit the elevator and tail section will push down and then nose will go up so that means the aircraft will go up and the elevator if go down and air flow will come and hit the elevator and tail section will go up and the nose section will go down and aircraft will go down so that is the moment go up and down so elevator controls the aircraft movement up or down up or down with the, this moment is called pitching the pitching moment so elevator is control the pitching movement of the aircraft and then now we can see the one more part is there is called uh, vertical stabilizer so vertical stabilizer same like uh, horizontal stabilizer the front edge is called leading edge and the, the rear edge is called uh, trailing edge so the the moving part of the horizontal stabilizer called rudder so rudder is attached to the trailing edge so it can move left to right left to right the pilot in the cockpit there's a rudder paddles same like bicycles it move forward like this so rudder pedals by the leg there are two rudder pedals left and right he will pull like this and then rudder will move left or right so then the aircraft will move side to side like this the airflow come and hit the rudder if rudder is this side airflow come and hit the rudder and it will push like this so aircraft will move like this and if rudder is more to this side and aircraft will move like this so it is called yawing yawing movement around the vertical axis there is axis like this so around the vertical axis aircraft move side to side that means yawing it is called yawing movement okay now rolling this movement is controlled by ailerons okay this movement controlled by elevators and this movement controlled by rudder okay now already you know the aircraft parts this is the fuselage nose section tail section aircraft nose cockpit nose undercarriage main wings left wing right wing left wing okay engines Leading edge, trailing edge, flap, ailerons, wing tip, winglet, main undercarriage, landing gear, we can say landing gear, main landing gear wheels, and then rudder, rudder, uh, horizontal stabilizer, vertical stabilizer, rudder, uh, elevators, uh, tail cone. APU and uh, windows, passenger doors. Now already you know the aircraft, parts of the aircraft. So okay. Now next video I will talk about how aeroplanes fly. Okay.